Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to be taking a look at dollar yen as the yen has reached an extreme weakness on our strength meter. So we can see here this white line just down through here on the strength meter is showing that the yen is at a minus seven figure now when currencies get into this zone of extreme weakness we can often see a reversal to that weakness and price or or the currency strengthen slightly and you can see it happens in the opposite direction as well the, the sort of last currency that was in a, a seven area was the dollar it was at plus seven uh, back here and you can see after that it weakened quite significantly now the last time the yen got towards this sort of minus seven area was all the way back down didn't quite make it there but at the start of the year it was in sort of uh, a minus six position and it did rem uh, kind of sustain that weakness uh, for quite some time until around about April where we started to see it strengthen ever so slightly uh, in the market which is actually this pullback on this weekly uh, chart that you can see just behind this is basically the start of the year um, and we can see that the yen significantly weakened uh, against the US dollar until around about April where we started to see the dollar dip the yen gain strength which um, created this short-term pullback in the market now that we've broken out of this area we've now reached a key resistance level and dollar and the yen is at that minus seven and the dollar is potentially getting weaker from the analysis that we've done recently so if the dollar is going to start moving down and the yen does find some kind of um a chance to strengthen here then we could start to see this offer us a bit of a trend reversal opportunity now the technically the the sort of move for the trend reversal hasn't formed yet so it's very sort of um premature we're looking into the into the future slightly on this one we're um, expecting that yen to gain a little bit of strength just because of the amount that we've seen price move so it wouldn't surprise me if we were going to see a little bit of that yen strength but it's a little bit early to tell but let's have a little look at the chart and see where we are because if we look at dollar yen at the moment we can see if we just zoom in slightly that we are at a crucial level which is this one 1455 area you can see the past few times price has been in this area we've seen some significant rejections of this price so now price is back at this area are we going to see something significant again now if the yen is going to start to slightly strengthen what i would expect to see from this weekly time frame is some candlesticks just low ranging candlesticks just rejecting this potential area which could then see that yen strengthen and pull back into another key area which is around about this 112 area just through here where you can see again we've had multiple rejections uh, in the past so what i'm looking for here is if that yen is going to strengthen we should see a reaction in and around this area now one way we can tell that is by either waiting for the weekly to close bearish or identifying some changes in the trend on a lower time frame so if i actually go into uh, the daily and move over you can see that we've pretty much remained within this sort of uh, sustained move through here we did have a slight pullback just through there with that sort of one candlestick pullback and price continued back to the upside however if we are going to see some kind of reversal here what we'd need to see is some reversal patterns now that can come in the form of either a head and shoulders pattern it could be a double top pattern anything that suggests that buyers of the yen are going to step in here that and could bring price lower that is what we're going to be looking for so for instance the head and shoulders may look something like this it may be uh, it may have an ascending neckline we could see a double top pattern where price returns back to the previous high and we see price move down that's one thing that we can look for for a longer term move however what I'm going to focus on today is maybe just a short term move back into the previous high on the daily because um, because the move may be a little bit early to look for for the move down to 112.23 or 112 then we need to identify maybe a short term move now technically we are in an uptrend still 
um, we could see price pull back into this previous high. So what we should see on the four hour time frame is a slight reversal in the trend. And you can see at the moment, we're starting to create these low ranging candlesticks. Okay, so if I actually just zoom right in into this here, you can see that these candlesticks, these four hour candlesticks are starting to create very low ranging candlesticks. Now, that could be a sign that something is about to happen, an impulse phase is about to happen because when you often see a cluster of low ranging candlesticks, it can lead to an impulsive phase following. So if we are at resistance and the yen is at an extreme weakness, which could suggest that it could start to strengthen, then we could maybe expect or anticipate the breakout of the low range in candlesticks to be to the downside. So what I'm actually looking for here is a bit of a reversal opportunity. And if price was to close, if this four hour candlestick was to close like this, we could look for a break of that candlestick low for a move back down into this zone through here, which was previous structure. What we may see then is a continuation of this overall trend, or if we start to break the lows around about that 113, then we could see price continue down to that 120. 1223. So keep an eye on dollar yen at the moment. We could be looking for a slight opportunity for a reversal down into the previous structure highs. This low range in candlestick here may be the catalyst to see price move lower. If you see a break of this four hour inside candle low as it stands currently, it may completely change. But if price does start to break the four hour candle lows, there could be an opportunity for a short term trade down into previous support. Keep an eye on dollar yen. Hope you enjoyed this video content. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more of our Forex trading content. And I'll speak to you soon.